It is time to hit the trails. Joining us now are Sarah Anderson from Ironfish Distillery and Trails Tasting Room, along with Greg Babinick from Crystal Mountain. And I want to talk a little bit about, Greg, the outdoor trails that you have up north and the snowshoeing and all of the activities that people can get involved in now that we're in the heart of winter. Well, we are in the heart of winter, and um, snow is a great thing, and we have many activities at Crystal Mountain including those snowshoers and cross-country trails. Uh, we have approximately 15 miles of cross-country wow. trails, 25K to those who are in the cross-country world, and um, myriad places to go uh, snowshoeing, but uh, it's a great family sport. The snowshoeing is anywhere uh, in the deepest snow that's uh, around the golf courses and around the cross-country trails. Yeah, and it's something I think that's getting a little bit more popular, both the, the cross-country skiing and the snowshoeing, as people are really trying to get outdoors and, you know, enjoy nature more. It's amazing what you can see when you're on those trails and it's quiet. Oh, I can't tell you how what, what we see out there. You see a myriad of uh, wildlife, a lot of deer, a lot of uh, turkeys. Uh, we've seen fox and mm. uh, uh, many, many things, but the, the peacefulness is why most people want to get out there and do it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think snowshoeing is a great way to get introduced to that. And as you get comfortable with being out on the snow, then cross country is kind of the next step in your evolution to becoming an outdoor enthusiast because cross country skiing is um, a workout. It's a workout. <laughs> it's uh, or like I was explaining to uh, to Sarah, it's ba it's a yoga on skis. Mm -hmm. I love that describe. because you're always balancing on one foot, and the, you know it's it is an incredible great core aerobic strength workout. and all of that. It's the I... third best aerobic workout that you can do behind uh, swimming and rowing. Wow, swimming is number one, rowing is number two. Uh, cross-country skiing is third. So there you go. If you're looking for a new workout for the year, you might want to try cross-country skiing and head up north. Give it a try. You also have some really great downhill skiing. We do, and Wonderful. but we have approximately a 60-inch base right now because of the fabulous snowmaking mm -hmm. that uh, Mike Cutler and his crew do from the Outdoor Maintenance Department. It's really looking good. Yeah, you guys always do a really great job of making sure that those downhill ski slopes yep. are in tip-top condition. And yep. of course, when you need to take a break, <laughs> Sarah, we did not forget about you. We just left the most important part for last. Oh, right? my goodness. You need yeah. to go and have a little drink. Well, we're the distillery. We're a farm distillery, and we're lucky enough to have our, our neighbors at Crystal Mountain 2.5 miles down the road from us. How, so how, how we much have, more could you We want? have one cool neighborhood, So, but we love to offer people uh, cozy, warm mm. drinks in the winter. And one of them is this drink I'm going to make for you today. It's called a Maple Moon, and it features our Iron Fish Distillery bourbon finished in maple syrup barrels. Oh, okay. So it's just a very simple cocktail. I think that, I think that simple is nice. So mm -hmm. some bourbon in each. I'm making one of these for Greg. Oh, great. He's out, <laughs> he's out grooming ski trails all the day, right. all the time. He, he needs, needs to, to get warm up, up too, right? And then the second ingredient is our bourbon barrel finished maple syrup, which is so delicious. Yeah, so it has a really great reputation for out people to, uh, People really love it. People will put it on Sorry. their pancakes and everything else. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's got it's a really, great reputation really for being a good syrup. It's good, good stuff. So uh, the maple syrup, about an ounce of that. Okay. And then we're just going to top each of these with some nice warm coffee. Mm. We've just done this collaboration with Keweenaw Coffee oh, okay. that had some uh, coffee finished in maple barrels up at their coffee shop in Calumet, Michigan. So a little bit of coffee in each. And then I think every nice warm winter drink deserves some nice it does. whipped cream it don't you think whipped cream, i think sure. so too mm -hmm. so we really like to make nice fresh whipped cream at the distillery oh my and gosh. add a little bit of that for people to enjoy mm -hmm. and then oh, maybe just a little lovely. dollop of maple syrup on the top just just to make it we fun. make so many warm yummy drinks at the distillery including great things with grocer's daughter hot chocolate and so many good things, things? so you guys need to have a little okay, taste of just that just a little taste oh my goodness <laughs> mm. well thanks so much for stopping by reminding us what a great place up north michigan is cheers, cheers to, to both of you <laughs> Yeah, cheers <laughs> to Sarah and I. Thank you. Of course, we put more information on our website, 13onyourside.com.